Hi, we are Ocean People, a family of four leading an unusual life of living on a sailboat and going on an adventure around the world. We've no set plans except to give this lifestyle a go and have some fun seeing the world together. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's free, it supports us and means you'll see our future videos. In this video, we take our maiden voyage out of La Rochelle and head north to Brittany, stopping at some of the most beautiful islands while we get a better understanding of how our boat works. Thank you so much for watching. We're not confident enough to sail away on our own just yet, so we've brought Julian along with us to show us the ropes. Uh, nice and calm. Yeah. Very good communication is great. Yeah. So far, 100%. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> This is my first time at the helm, getting a better understanding of how to manoeuvre the boat in the water. See, great touch. Women have a better touch than uh, guys. Guys are always playing with power, too much power, and yeah. girls are more softer and more... Um, Tactile. Yeah, exactly. Then the down part is usually the size of the boat. Guys have a bit, usually have a better understanding of the size, and girls a bit more not as easy. Yeah. With the, with the size. The guys always think it's bigger than it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if it fits perfect. <laughs> so, you know, in order to get control, you can do a little bit of a kick. Like, for example, you were, you were doing, uh, like, if I want to stop, I do like this. It's okay to give up. I, I look sideways. When I'm not moving, I stop. You see, we don't move. Yeah. Then I want to get going. But to, be, to gain control, I go forward and I, uh, I don't, I'm not too much in control. Okay, I want a bit of speed quickly. Yeah. There you go. I got the kick, I got the speed, and then I slow down. Okay. Okay. I mean, you don't have to do that, but and it now helps we've got to momentum, be. So. And you get the momentum, and with the momentum, you get control. Yeah. You know, showing what all your intention is always good. After some time practicing docking and moving the boat in the marina, we set off for Il Dieu. Ready? Here we go, look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. All right, we're coming into the anchorage now. 10 minutes until we need to anchor. Kat and Julian are up the front. Preparing the anchor. Today's sail. The sea wasn't that rough, but um, got me first and then it got cut through. I was vomiting in a bucket <laughs> and uh, cut felt pretty quick afterwards. I think it's going to take us a few days to find our sea legs. The uh, teacher that we've got on board, or the guy that's helping us, is Julian, has been excellent with it. So, very happy. It's like six something. Six twenty, first light. We're gonna pop the anchor and we're gonna move on. Got our seasickness tablets in my belly today, actually. Uh, and look at that. I even felt seasick in the night. On this? Yeah. Wow, we've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lake. I know. Just put the safety on, Cap. Yep, we're getting, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. I'm not telling you, I'm just reminding you. Alright, just You're for the video, we stopped because there's something that happened, very usual. You know, when you collect an anchor, anchor chain, it makes a pyramid, a pile. Uh, and the pile reached the bottom of the windlass. Okay, so that's why you got stuck at some point. You just give so it you, need, you need to give it a kick. A kick, but it's hard to collect. So what you do is you, you, you go with your arm underneath and just break the top part of it, like this. Okay. So we know with 35 meter of chain, we need to do it okay. at probably like the last 10, 10 meter. Cool. Okay. You're going to be a YouTube star. Oh, <laughs> super. Good morning on YouTube. Um, <laughs> this is Il Dieu. Oh yeah. You didn't even give it a name. No, this is where we are. Il Dieu, yeah. Il Dieu, yeah. That's how I felt yesterday. Il Dieu. <laughs> <laughs> That's all done. And let's go to Belil today, maybe. Lovely. Or Wedic. We had a really foggy, no wind sail to Edic, but we're getting close, so it's time to put the sails away and prepare for anchoring.
just heard James go into full reverse. Whoa. That was a bit close, guys. Going straight for that. Oh, that was really scary. Luckily, we had the engines on. I think that's the marker that's supposed to go around. Oh, baby. I know. Did you see what happened? Obviously, no. where we changed the bottle, plugged the new gas in, the gas was running through, and then I've gone to light it. The whole dome was obviously. It went. All right, let's go. This is pretty and it's really quiet because it's off season. A little bit cold, but really, really very pretty. Not funny, I have a sand rock and a shell. I just love all the interesting people you meet when you travel and the sailing community is full of people just enjoying life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 he wants us to bring, the, bring them over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can. <laughs> We're going to the bus. 10 minutes? Oh, no, no, We accidentally pulled up some starfish with our anchor, so we released them back to the ocean. You just saved the starfish, George. Hopefully. This one we damaged it a little bit. Oh, it's sorry. So it's gonna grow again, I think. After picking up anchor, we had a short sail from Edik to Belil. Wow, that is so pretty. Just sailing this morning, had the code zero up. Sailing into a new island like, on the daylight today. Pretty good feeling. Yeah. Oh. Well, enjoy it. it. Took me by surprise. <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> you deserve it. Okay. Let's go. Nice little house you got there, huh? Yeah. 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 This is where we say goodbye to Julian to be left on our own. We've learned so much in the time he's been on board. Thank you so much for all your help, Julian. We have just arrived, so we're going to go and wander around and have a look. But it's very pretty. Look. If anyone can see Bailey. Not sure it's over this side. We mean see Bailey. It's there. We've got pizza, pasta, burgers, wine. Two people have decided this is where we're eating anyway, by the looks of it. It's a bit windy.
After almost hitting a boat mast and gaining the attention of the seagulls, we were pretty happy to have it land back on ground. Hello! We just done a bike ride right behind. Smile at the camera! How fun was that, Harry? Good! Pretty fun? George, how did you go? They're pretty good. Pretty. Alright guys. Hey, sleepy head. Excuse me, I just paddled all the way here. Where are we? We are in Sosson, which is on uh, Belle Isle. Belle Isle, which is in France. I'm just walking. <laughs> <laughs> Literally day two. James has gotten another fight. <laughs> it makes me sound like I'm really difficult. And I, as soon as he said you can't have it, the first thing I said is, okay, I'll bring it back. Okay, so a little bit of context. Uh, James just put the drone up. And those people locals were not some... happy about it. Yeah, and some guy just threw rocks at it. They're not happy about it. <laughs> so guys started throwing rocks at the drone. James didn't see, George did. Um, That's okay. So he wicked. came over and had some words to him. And then, so James said he'll bring it back down, but he thinks he got the footage anyway. So hopefully, what you're seeing on the screen now is. So we're gonna take our bikes and head back to what's the town called where we just came from. Le Palais. Le Thank you, Port Halligan, Bonsoir, Parlez vous anglais, s'il vous plaît? Yes, thank you. Good news, thank you very much. We're a sailing catamaran, we would like to come in for the evening. A few days ago we were had some bad weather, so we've come into a marina. We've been here for um, two nights, we've got one more night here. Um, in the marina we were having 25 knot winds and that was protected, so... Um, the type of sailing we want to do is we want to go from one nice place to another nice place. Uh, we don't want to be anchored out in bad weather. I've just been to the shops, got a full shop, got all of our provisions. So we're ready to go tomorrow. The kids have just gone to the park and I'm just cooking up some dinner. So yeah, it was nice to sort of stop for a few days. Because I just find when we're actually sailing, you can't do anything. You can't get on your laptop. Um, it's really hard to get the schoolwork done. So just stopping for a few days in a marina helps us to sort of catch up, which we did. So on to the next destination. Not quite sure where that will be yet either. We've got a list of places from people who have recommended us to go um, different places. So... We'll have a look at that tonight, do some um, passage planning and check the weather and we'll see where we end up next. So far it's been really good and we're happy that we've gone north um, to check out Brittany because most people from La Rochelle will just go straight into the Med. So it was really nice to sort of go north and see some really cute little French islands um, and we just didn't expect 
um, to see this part of the world. So it's been very nice. Holding on tight. So we left Quilbrian, if that's how you pronounce it. It's a how we pronounce port of Halligan. On our way to Il Ormonds. You have to come in here at the right tide, otherwise you end up being blown, being spat out. So we had what, 11 knots of current? Yeah, it's pushing us in. It's pushing us in. So we're only at like 1500 revs. And we're basically coming in here on the current for well, 10 now, but we've been up at 11 knots just getting pushed in. We did sail across the bay, yeah. but we decided to put the motors on to come into this um, area, which was probably the right decision, right? Yeah. I think it's sailable, but... Not for us novices. Novices, yeah. <laughs> but it's really pretty. I'll show you this. Yeah, it's beautiful. You want to see how far our tide is running? <laughs> Come and look at the how it's running past that boy. Oh my god! That's why it said you'll be there in two and a half hours when you get in here. Cruise on along at 11.8 knots. Look, there's a little whirlpool thing going on over there. You're like a speed boat. A whirlpool? Yeah, there's like all little areas where the current's Ooh. just going crazy. We've had very little technical issues with our new boat. The AMR was not working correctly, so we were advised that we would have to remove it, which would make a temporary hole in the bottom of the boat so that we can clean it and reinstall it. Expect a fair amount of water. I've literally just cleaned this today. <laughs> so, thanks. It's a pretty nerve-wracking thought to have a hole in your boat putting water into the bilge, but now that we've done it, it really wasn't that bad. Well done. Well done, good job. Oh, look at that. That is dirty. It's not too bad. But was it turning okay? Or did you have to give it a little... Don't flick it in here, honey. Flick it all through our bedroom. That's what you want, an alarm when you're trying to do something like this. George, honey, what's that alarm? Come on, let me check. Thank you. Are you going to try alarm again? Yeah, just push it okay. We've been having an issue with our GPS readings. Our nav station and helm station are showing different locations, and this means that our anchor alarm is being incorrectly activated. This will be looked at when we get back to La Rochelle. Well, according to the thing, they were like, oh, if this is not spinning, you won't get your reading. Mm -hmm. But it was dirty, babe. It spins freely. Mm -hmm. So I don't think this is the issue. I think it's actually faulty. So I'm going to, like, what does that actually do? This just reads the water temperature. The water temperature and apparently the speed of the apparent wind, apparently the, that wheel versus the one on the top mm -hmm. ends up giving you your apparent wind. Reading. So let's put it back. And that's another job done. So we've had problem with the generator. And so James is now gonna kill himself. Yeah, <laughs> please don't. Just leave it and ask someone. No, I'm gonna try this. Oh, I just need to get enough charge into one of them. What do you reckon that says? Um, do not jump start. No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, let me go like this. Oh, don't like this, don't like this. literally fix something. <laughs> well, that's, how old am I? 48. <laughs> I know they say if you wait long enough. <laughs> 
We have had some issues with the generator battery draining, so having this little jump start battery on board has been really helpful. We stayed on anchor for a week and used our dinghy to explore the area. I could have spent longer here just enjoying how peaceful it was. We took the dinghy up the canal, past all the locks to Vaughan, where we'd hoped to tie up the dinghy and explore. But once we'd arrived, we were told the locks were about to close and we would end up stuck there. So we headed back out and caught a bus in instead. My footage in Vaughan seemed to have disappeared, but we did the little train, explored the town and got some of the best local cheese from a fromagerie. This is definitely a spot we'd recommend, just check the lock times. <laughs> How's it going? Good. You gonna feel me falling in? Yep, yep. Oh, please, please don't. Please, please don't fall in. Yeah, not today. No, fall in. Oh, it's good actually, content. <laughs> yes, yeah, good content, good Dad. Content. You in, you go then, George. Jump in. Aww. Core strength, Aww. core strength. Oh, the bottom of the boat's filling up with water. Is that supposed to be doing that? The bottom of the boat is not supposed to be filling up with water. That was a close one, Molly. I am in my bed. Not a chance. Hey, do you want me to grab the paddle? Oh no, bro. There's no What was that about? I don't know whether to go back to the boat or carry on going. What's wrong with it? I don't know, but there's a red oil warning light on the... Go back, back to, to the, the boat. boat. Yay! Get back to the boat, tie on, and then have a look. It's a red temperature oil light. put oil in it? We're here at the port and we are going to go for a walk <laughs> and explore. We're going to get ice cream for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Our boat is here next to this oyster farm. We've just had oysters and wine. We've just been stuck here for a few days, chilling out, haven't we? And now we're going to, we plan to probably in the next few days, we'll go north up to Il Gua and then Benade. Let's see how we go. Thank you. 
past six o'clock in the morning. Um, we've decided to do a early morning sale. We are, are heading towards Benaday. Um, so the kids are still in bed. Um, we got up early, about quarter past five. All right, door's not wanting to shut. Um, pulled up the anchor and we're actually motoring at the moment because there are a few hazards so James wanted to be in control of the boat and um, the direction that we need to go uh, once we get past these hazards is directly into the wind so I don't think we'll be sailing very much today unless there's a wind shift um, but that's fine it's only a short maybe two to three hour sail to Benaday but we'll see. I'm just making James some breakfast. I've made the kids some breakfast as well for when they wake up. Um, I'm just trying to do everything before we leave so that I don't get sick. But we're almost in Benaday. How long have we been going for, James? A couple of hours, two hours. This is not too bad. bad. I'm just surprised the kids slept. They're still asleep. Or at least they're probably in bed with their iPads, but they haven't popped their heads up to say hello. We had a tiny little bump on the jetty. There's a corner of wood. Just here. We took the dinghy up the Odette River to do some French castle spotting. This was really fun and we made it all the way up to Compare before heading back. Harry at the wheel! Now turn to your left, which is that way. I know. Not too hard, just a little bit. That's it. Guys. I thought it was stressful with you driving. I was even more stressful <laughs> now. <laughs> We started to make our way back to La Rochelle. Leaving Benaday, we stopped at Lorient and then what? In Lorient, we had possibly the worst marina experience. The wind and the swell were making it difficult and there was definitely a lot of confusion and yelling. Somehow, we managed to dock without a scratch. Kids been in their pajamas for two days straight. He's living his best life. I was. Mum, <laughs> Mum, not so much. How are you feeling? I'm very good. Been seasick today and trying to make lunch at the same time. Yeah. We've got some. I can make lunch. Yeah, George. Did you help? Yeah, I put. I did the pizza. Good. She put it in the oven. She? Who's she? She. Cat's mum. Nothing's rude to say. Good people by she. You do, have, you do have a little bit more colour in your face than what you did about two hours. Yeah, I have to admit, it was pretty rough this morning. I'm surprised. I'll talk about it. I'm gonna be sick, so. Maybe you should just get it out. On film? Yeah, no thanks. Ah, oh, payback. <laughs> Not in I'm the sick. I'm gonna get this pizza out. Well done. You're doing well. It's just. Cut your tea, the board games. Oh, no, Life is good. Life is good. We have decided 
we're not going to go to La Saab. Right. We are going to just keep on going to La Rochelle. It's been a really nice sail, even though we've been going really slow. Oh, but how lovely is it? It's so nice. Honestly, compared to yesterday. <laughs> yesterday we were so sick. So today's lovely. Yeah, a bit it's of like cloud cover, but... It's three o'clock in the afternoon. We've been getting anywhere from nine to 12 knots of wind. Um, sea is, as you can see behind me, very, very calm. So you tell us now, they're good. Yep, they're good. We've just been playing with the sails to try and figure it all out. But I think we're doing pretty good. We we're are. doing, we're doing really well. We have moments of disaster, like we're, we're not quite sure what's going on. But if it was like this all the time, we'd be like, oh, this is easy. Mm. Just slow, but easy. I don't mind it being slow. No, I don't mind it being I slow. I think though. in all my experience. <laughs> Three <laughs> yeah. weeks of sailing. Weeks, yeah. Comfortable is better than fast. Like mm -hmm. yesterday we were going fast, eight or nine knots. When we yeah, we were so sick. It was awful. Weather. But you were sick and nobody wants to come outside. It was freezing cold. But we were going fast. But we were using the motors as well. No, not in the morning. I was sailed for like three or four hours. Like eight or nine knots and then all of a sudden it died mm. it died to the point where we we're only getting four knots of wind that we made for the second half of the day but was um, a bit calmer at that point i like that there's not any boats to fight with as well out here yeah it's yeah. just been nobody other boats do make it you can see the sail balloon over there with all the sail boats around the harbour there you see them already? Oh yeah. There's a big race going on there today, which was another reason why I was anxious to get in there. Couldn't get into the marina because they're fully booked. And there's one anchorage out the front at the beach. But I reckon that would have been busy as well. I'm just not a good enough sailor. I'm not good enough. People say, oh, it's dangerous for sailing or whatever. I'm not can be competent enough to be around like hundreds of boats in a marina environment all vying for position mm. i'm still trying to work out oh you know how to do it so slow and steady I mean, this, is <laughs> this is pretty nice so good see our aussie flag in the background yep representing mm -hmm. bonjour mate George keeps getting um, annoyed at James's ac accent is not quite right. Harry so. gets annoyed when I don't speak French. <laughs> Dad, you, you have to speak French to people. And then when James tries, he goes, bonjour, like an Aussie. <laughs> not even Australian. <laughs> you are. Well, yeah, that's true. English heritage, but you are Australian. <laughs> Au revoir. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching our return trip from La Rochelle to Brittany. Next week, we set off across the Bay of Biscay to Spain as we make our way towards the Med. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along with our journey.